everyone, Nancy Weathington here with my latest Button Farm Club mini book. And it's done with beautiful blue fern papers with some miscellaneous embellishments. This is a Tim Holtz frame of flower. Some ribbon, a little chunky piece of lace here, and some lace from my own collection here. And then I've got a little knob with a tag hanging at the spine. All of this is very, very layered, as you can see chunky stuff underneath. And I do like to use um, black pop-ups because I think it leaves more of a shadow rather than a white highlight. I don't think you notice it as much, but that's just my personal opinion. You know I got them. So let's take a look at the inside of the book. Now, for the purposes of this video, I've removed the pages, and I'll show you each of those in a minute. This is a three-ring binder. The book is cloth-covered, which I like, and it is from Button Form. So the inside front cover, gorgeous images on this paper. Huh? Inside front cover is a side pocket. And here are the pages for the book. Get these all. So you have five pages, all double sided, of course. And we'll start with page number one untie. And you have a fold out. Gorgeous paper. The detail in this paper is incredible. So you have room here on the fold-out for four different um, photos, plus one large photo on the main page. Tie this up, give it a quick tie so we can move on. And the next page is a pocket, a side pocket. And just what I like to do, and, and you saw it here, when you're doing a book, this is just, again, my personal opinion. When you're doing a book, I like to make it easy for people to unfold things. So if this uh, double fold, for example, was going towards the binding, it would make it harder to lay flat. So if I have a binding on the left side, I like my side flips to open on the right. So that's what I've done here, and that's what I've done on this page. So here we have, uh, when we turn the page, of course, we have a right binding. So I like things to come out of pockets on the left side. Just an FYI, how I design things, hopefully to make life easy. But this is a bit of a dimensional pocket, as you can see, with a little card done. So you could either write here and journal our photos again. That's page two. Page three, I have a little bit of a seam here. This lifts out, so that's the closure for the page. And this is, whoops, this is a pocket here. And then a flip down. So you have room for a large photo, a photo here on the down flip. You can insert another photo here, journaling here if you want and then tuck that into the pocket, and that'll be the closure. Again, gorgeous images. 
on this particular page, I took advantage of this beautiful arbor and I fussy cut around the right side and over the arch, left this side square and the bottom squared off, added it to a piece of cardstock, which again, all this is included in your kit. But before I added it, I made a slit with a craft knife from this point down this side on this column and when I added it to the page I only glued on the left side and the bottom of this image so that I could then make a tag slip a tag in so that could be my journaling tag and then a larger tag at the top which I can use either for journaling again or small photos. And there's enough room in here where you could put another photo tucked behind. Next page is another flip. The closure with a little bit of a seam here. Flip this open and there's a trifold. as well as a side pocket and a, and a kind of a large tag and big enough for photos if you want. Now on this, a lot of times throughout the um, instructions, I will use these really well-made um, cardstock, not cardstock, uh, chipboard embellishments that come with your kit. What I've done on these, um, I never think for any brand I've ever used that the chipboard sticky backs is sticky enough to last as long as I like it to last. So I take baby powder. I remove the film on the back of these. I take baby powder and my finger and just rub a little bit of baby powder on the back to remove the sticky. And then for this one, for example, because I wanted it to be the closure, I only glued it down on the right side and the left side, leaving the middle with no glue so that um, I could easily slip the closure behind. Turn the page, and it's a simple belly band. Again, these are cardstock, uh, chipboard, oh my goodness, chipboard stickers. I did the same thing. And if you can see here, lifted them up a bit. And then this is a top fold. So again, you could put um, small photos here. Sometimes on photos, I like to do those wallet size, I think they're called. I know you get them with a lot of, used to get them a lot with um, school pictures, and I like that size. But here, what I did, this of course is decoration on the belly band. Down here is a decoration, but it serves a purpose because now my flip won't slide all the way through and out the bottom of my page. Okay, next page. This is another open pocket. So um, again, chipboard, chipboard, and chipboard. This is actually the closure. So starting at the beginning, I double popped the family. I single popped the frame and um, left uh, let me say, let me start again on this sentence. Popped the frame up once on the bottom, the left, and the right sides only so that I have enough room at the top to slide a photo in if I want to. And then for the closure, I use this little tiny butterfly chipboard. And this will come in your kit as well. Oh, let me try to get this a little closer to the camera. 
Uh, it's about as good as it's going to get, I think. But just um, glued it on the very corner of the page with a Velcro closure here and then the matching Velcro closure in the corner. And let me just tell you these corners that I use. This is a We Are Memory Keepers corner chomper. It has two different uh, settings on it. One on each side of the chomper. It'll cut through chipboard. It'll cut through several layers of paper. I use it in almost every single book I do. And if you want one, they are available through Button Farm. So if you order the kit, you can also order the corner chomper. Next page. Again, I took, um, made a seam here on the closure. Enjoy the journey, another chipboard piece. Open it up. This, if, if you, I didn't show you this very well, did I? There we go. Let's look at the whole page first. Um, this slides into a pocket. So we'll open this. You have a pocket here so you can slip photos behind if you want. Open another pocket here with a handmade tag. And again, these, um, these you could see this corner chomper a little bit better. I love that thing. It's one of my favorite tools ever. And then a whole page here with really pretty detail. So you could put either two photos here or one large photo. And then if you wanted, you could also put a photo here on the pocket itself. Okay, flip that in. Oh, by the way, this is also done with the corner chomper, these little edges. So you can do a lot with that thing. I love it. Okay, this page. Whoop! Dimensional pocket. Beautiful chipboard. All comes in your kit. And then inside the dimensional pocket is a quad fold booklet. So eight photos, if you want, will fit in this. Both sides are decorated. Accordion folds and then tucks into the pocket. Back of this page, you have another chipboard piece. I used a Velcro closure here. It all comes in your kit. I fussy cut around this um, image of, I don't know how well this is showing up, but it looks like lace. So again, you can put a photo here, photo, and either two smaller photos or one large photo on this page. So those are the pages. Now, the book itself comes with more pages and you will have leftover um, paper that you can decorate the extra pages with. I did not. This is the inside cover and I left it pretty plain so you could put more photos here. I did not decorate the extra pages because a lot of you tell me you like books that actually close. Personally, I don't care. I prefer alligator mouth books. Again, my opinion, because I think it makes it interesting and it makes people want to go inside and see what's all tucked in there. But if you don't mind that it doesn't close, then you can add more pages to your book. So that's it, available exclusively at Button Farm. And I hope you liked it. Thank you.